The, the leading indication for pediatric liver transplant is a disease called biliary atresia. This is a disease that impacts uh, children shortly after birth, and it's where the bile duct, uh, which carries bile from the liver to the intestine, uh, essentially scars up and disappears. And when that occurs, bile is not able to uh, be excreted by the liver, and the bile accumulates within the liver and causes uh, liver failure. The two transplants that we've had recently, you know, Presley Reed and Annabella Spears, I think exemplify sort of the two spectrum of patients that we have who are waiting for liver transplant. Presley was on the wait list for almost a year and a half. Uh, and part of that reason was while she did have liver disease and uh, liver failure, uh, her disease was a slow progression. And, um, you know, she was continuing to do reasonably well while on the wait list. Annabella Spears, on the other hand, was on our wait list for uh, three months, uh, maybe not even. Um, and because of the quickness of Annabella's liver disease, uh, her place on the waiting list uh, changed much more rapidly. She uh, went to the top of the waiting list much quicker, and, and that's because uh, of her laboratory studies, uh, which determine where someone is on the waiting list. Um, her score went up uh, very rapidly, and, and we were very fortunate that we got a liver for her before she became even sicker. They both got their transplants relatively close together. Uh, that's not atypical. Uh, we tend to see transplants in waves and it's not real clear why, but uh, we'll go through a period of time where we'll do two or three transplants within uh, a week or two weeks. Uh, they're just, you know, we do them whenever there's a, a donor organ available.